to talk about challenging behaviors for two-year-old toddlers. If you are new to me, my name is Marcela Collier. I am a therapeutic provider of children licensed with the state of Arizona. I'm a mom of twin toddlers and I'm a parent with understanding coach. And today I'm going to be walking you through your child's behaviors so you are equipped to respond to his needs. If this kind of content is of value to you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. People call the two-year-olds the terrible two season. And it is not that it is terrible too because they want to give you a hard time. No, I would not call it terrible twos. I would call it just a time where your child is navigating new emotions because that's what it is. Two-year-olds experience new things every day, especially new emotions. There are emotions that they just start experiencing when they turn two, such as shame, such as guilt, such as embarrassment and pride. Imagine that you wake up one day and then you're feeling all these new things that haven't been there before. How would you feel? That's why sometimes they could act that out of control because they're experiencing new things in a new environment as well. Two-year-olds live a lot of frustration because they are not babies, but they don't have the communication skills to say what they feel to say what they need so they communicate through behaviors because every single behavior is the communication of a need and two-year-old kids they communicate through behaviors all the time because they cannot do it otherwise if you are looking at how to help your two-year-old improve his communication skills I created a video right here is going to give you practical tips on how I helped one of my twins that was struggling at the time and he was having a lot of tantrums and a lot of frustration on how I helped him go from not communicating this to communicating this when he was around that age. Now they're almost four years old. So their main job is to experience new things, new feelings, and our main job when we have a two-year-old is to help our children navigate those new emotions. That's our main job, which sometimes it feels like a really big job because we have to help them through those tantrums, help them through those meltdowns, help them through yelling, help them through all those behaviors and guiding them on how to express those emotions in a safer way. Part of that job is to help them understand their feelings by verbalizing what they're going through. I see you're upset, I see you're angry, I see you're frustrated like that. They're going to start putting the right word in their mind when they're feeling that. So instead of just keep acting out, they will be able to verbalize eventually, especially if they're closer to three years old. The second thing is when they are having those big tantrums to help them calm down, that's another job that we have at this age. The fact that we might think it is not a big deal or the fact that we might think that, oh man, like this would be easier if he just put his shoes on. To get out of our adult minds and go down to their level and then see through their eyes how they're seeing their world and empathize with them. You don't have to agree with your two-year-old to empathize and acknowledge his feelings. And the last job that we have at this age is to meet their emotional needs. And that's where I see many parents stuck because they love their children and they want to meet their children's emotional needs, but because they don't always understand what their children communicate through their behaviors, they miss those emotional needs. So children have all sorts of emotional needs. It, it is not just attention and love, how some people think. There are so many other needs, need for control, need for freedom, need for power, need for consistency, all sorts of needs, belonging. So in the Parenting with Understanding program, it is my signature program. It's going to be launched really soon. Not yet, but really soon. I'm going to be walking you step by step on how you can help your child with his behaviors by connecting with his emotional needs and how to respond effectively to his behaviors in a way that he understands. If this is something that is of interest to you, there is an interest list 
here on the description down below you can go there sign up for the interest list you will be able to get access to information of what parenting with understanding online program is when it's going to be launched and you will get notified first thing when i open early bird enrollment because it's going to be 40 percent off and you don't want to miss that i don't want you paying full price so please go there click the link and i will see you in the interest list please give me a thumbs up and i have a question for you do you have a two-year-old tell me how often do you experience tantrums let me know in the comments if you are dealing with challenging behaviors, there is something that you might not know yet. I tell you what it is here in this video. I'm going to discover, I'm going to let you know what is laying behind your child's behavior and how to help them. Please click there. I'll see you there. And I'll see you next week as well with another topic of parenting with understanding.